Hey gents, just want to do a quick video on the AirPods. You guys had some questions about these in the live stream and I've been wearing them for about two months. I got them right around uh, Christmas time and I wear them every single day, hours every single day. I realized you know, when these had been announced that I wear the ear pods, which fit my ears very well. So I guess the first uh, qualifier on this is if you like the ear pods that come with the iPhone, then uh, these are perfect for you. But I wear those, I would say four to eight hours every single day. Uh, I wear them at work when I listen to music. I wear them uh, when I'm walking. I wear them in, in when I'm on flights and everything else. So I wear the ear pods a lot and it, I thought it made a lot of sense to get these. Uh, I guess my first impressions and thoughts are they fit my ears really well. I really like the functionality of uh, the automatic pausing. So when you pull them out of your ear, they have a proximity sensor so they know that when they're in and out, they pause your music, they resume when you put them back in. I like that you can use one for calls. I, use, I get a lot of conference calls and I listen in on things and it's you know an hour of just listening. I can use just one, I can use both of them, and the microphone is extremely good. People don't even typically know when I'm using a headset. They have beam forming microphones, which is why they're kind of shaped and pointed down this way. So that all works out really well. And the audio quality is very good as well. I would say that they are almost indistinguishable from the wired version of the headphones, which is a good sign because they sound better than most other Bluetooth headsets. I've been wearing Bluetooth headsets for six or seven years now. I used to wear on-the-ear ones. I used to wear uh, the Jaybirds. I've had JLab. I've had uh, a few other ones, some of the Beats, and all of them I've ended up, you know, wearing out over time just because I end up running with them a lot and I sweat into them and everything else and I do exercise with these. So audio is very good on these, the microphone is very good, I like the proximity sensor, the battery life on these are very good as well. So I've gone on conference calls that have been two hours long, never had an issue with the battery and then the case, uh, I only need to charge this every three to four days even for as much as I use these. I also like how quickly they charge. If the phone, if the headphones do end up dying on me if I'm on a call, I can pull one out, I can put it in here for just five minutes and then it's charged back up and I have at least one hour of battery life in here. So the battery life not only on the individual headphones is very good but also the case it lasts very long and as far as proximity I've had no issue with um, any sound degradation or uh, at the distance. So I've even worn these all around my house just leaving my phone in uh, in my kitchen and I can go anywhere in the house and I don't get nearly as much interference as I have with other headsets. I think that's due to the W1 chip. It helps uh, with the connection, it helps with the audio. Whatever it is, the distance on these is I would maybe not more than typical Bluetooth, but it's much stronger of a connection, uh, whether it be to a phone, an iPad, or a computer. That also brings me into uh, the fact that the handoff of these between devices is extremely good. I mean, it's that's what you know. One of the main selling points of this is that W1 chip that's built into here. If I want to hand these off to my iPad, it's very easy. You just go down here to your AirPlay menu, and you're able to choose the headphones. They automatically switch over to the device, and then when you're done, you do the same thing here, and they come back very easily. Same thing to my Mac. If I'm if I'm connected to my MacBook, and then I want to switch to here, that whole uh, part of it is much easier than any other uh, Bluetooth headset that I've ever used. Great application for everyday use, just wearing them as you're working, traveling. Uh, it's so nice not to have a, a wire connected to these. And you also don't look, I've never really liked the look of those, you know, they, they have a collar, it's a plastic collar that sits here and there's a little wire that goes up. I've never really liked the look of those either. And uh, people look at these, they, they help you stand out in a crowd, maybe because of the look, but I think also because people know that they're tough to come by right now. So I think they're great for traveling. They never get caught on anything. If you do have your phone connected, so you use the, the e-ticket and the airplane, you don't have to worry about anything else. So love them for all those applications. Now the thing Things that I wish I could change or dislike about the AirPods. This might be like the tiniest little detail that kind of gets under my skin on these is there's no feedback whenever you end a call. So if I'm talking to somebody and I want to hang up, you can double tap, which will hang up the call, but there's no audible uh, recognition that says, all right, the phone call has ended, and then I end up checking my phone a lot. So that's just like a tiny thing, but it's something that I think could easily be improved with software. Uh, the other thing too is I find myself a lot, because I used to wear the ear pods so much, I would say you know two years of wearing them, at least four hours a day, I still keep finding myself to come right here to control the audio pod play and skip especially because I listen to a lot of podcasts that I do the 15 or 30 second skip ahead or 15 second back and uh, you can't do that on these there's the two options you have 
when you have these in your ears. For the double tap, you can either have the double tap pause and play the music or the double tap be for Siri and then you can have Siri do commands like audio, uh, audio up, audio down, or pause and play music. But uh, I typically find that I do pause and play and if I want Siri, I just reach into my pocket and I hold down the home button. Uh, but the controls are definitely something, they leave something to be desired on here. I think they can improve them. Uh, I'd be interested to see if or how they improved. But uh, overall, those are the only two things that, that really get to me on there. I don't find an issue with battery life. The only time I had an issue with connectivity, I was at a huge giant trade show and there was just a lot of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth interference. And when I had the AirPods in and I had the phone in my pocket, I was losing a little bit of connection, but uh, that was a very minor thing. Last thing I'll just say too is the case to me is just like classic Apple. Uh, I've, you know, I go back before the iPods and iPhones as an Apple user and uh, this just feels like classic Apple design here. The case, this magnetic click is very, very satisfying and it's also an extremely clean uh, silhouette and there's no uh, markings on here. There's a tiny one just says designed by Apple in California but the FCC markings are on the inside which just, uh, I think that's a very Apple-y thing to have that. I like that you can charge with the lightning cables. I've always got one of these nearby. Most of my Bluetooth headphones use the micro USB and I end up traveling with an additional micro USB in order to charge those. So I really like that it's that. And then finally, it's very easy to check the battery levels on these. If you have your phone up and you just open the case with the headphones in, you'll get this menu here that shows the AirPod battery and the case battery. Uh, you can't see the battery this way if the AirPods are out. You can see that down here in the AirPlay menu. It says, you know, battery percentages here. And so you're never really wondering what the battery life is on these. And I think that's a nice thing because I've had headphones die on me when I've been running, which is a huge pain in the butt. Like I said before, I do run with these. I run uh, maybe three to four hours a week and I've been using the AirPods every time. They're my go-to now. I had a pair of whatever the J-Lab wire cutter recommendation is. And ever since I got these, I just keep going back to these. So if the AirPods fit in your ears and you like those, go for these. I think they're really great. I don't think the, the price is that expensive for a Bluetooth headset. Bluetooth headsets are usually a little bit more pricey than regular headsets. I mean, you can get cheap Bluetooth headsets, but then it's a cheap Bluetooth headset and you get what you pay for. All that being said, AirPods, I like them. If you have any questions, happy to answer, but I just wanted to drop a, a note in here because uh, I think you guys like when I go outside of the clothing space and just give you a little bit more stuff on uh, the things that I'm using and the things that I like. So. Any questions, uh, please comment below. You can reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. I'm trying to put more stuff on there. I don't know what you want to see on Instagram. I try to do a little bit more like behind the scenes stuff as I travel, uh, posting things in the story. I don't really know, experimenting with it. Happy to hear your thoughts uh, anywhere else. And until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.